Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to use the choose calls, the sort, and the take functions to extract only three columns from the original data set and only for the top 10 entries based on portfolio value. So there's a couple of things we want to accomplish in one formula and we could do it with these really cool functions. First, let's look at how I can select just the account number, the location, and the portfolio value from that original data set. I'm just going to skip a column and type in a couple of headers here. So I'll do uh, account num as a column heading, uh, location, and uh, let's do that again, location, and we'll do a value. And then maybe I'll give a different sort of color heading to those cells. Okay. So I want to extract just those columns from the original range, which by the way, this range is a table and that table is called customer data. So I like using table names in situations like this because it makes the syntax uh, a little bit easier to type and faster to, to reference. So we'll say in cell J2 equals choose calls. So choose columns. Then you mention the array, which in our case is customer data. And then the columns are mentioned by or referenced by their index number. So column one for the account number, comma, column three for the location, and then comma, column four for the value. So I want to retrieve just those three columns, columns number one, three, and four. And there we go. So there's our account number, our location, and our value column. So I'm going to format the results too. I'm going to format them in accounting style. So I'll select that data and click my accounting style uh, uh, icon in the ribbon. So we now have just those three columns from the original data set. Now, the other part of this is I want to just show the top 10 accounts based on portfolio value. So to get me there, the first thing I'm going to do is have uh, my formula to sort these results. So we've got our choose calls function, but I'm going to wrap that inside a sort function, right? So we'll say equals sort open paren. And then at the end of the choose calls formula, that's selecting those three columns, we'll type a comma. And with the sort function, you have to indicate which column index number you wish to sort by. So in this array of data, which is this choose calls result set, which has three columns in it, it's the third column, right? The third column of our result set here has the portfolio value. So that's the column I want to sort by and then comma the sort order. So I'm going to use a negative one for descending order, which should put the biggest portfolio values at the top. And there we go. So we have the largest portfolio values at the top of this list. And then of course it goes all the way down to the smallest. And again, it's still just those three columns from the original data set. So we have our choose calls function inside a sort function, both of which are these spill formulas or spill functions, meaning that even though you write the formula in a single cell, these types of functions like sort and choose calls will retrieve potentially multiple values. So the results have to spill forward, spill down and spill to the right to show all the results. So choosing three columns, it spills to the right and it has however many records there are in the data set going down and the sort function, it's just sorting that data. So of course the results are still spilling. Now, since we only want the top uh, 10 values, I'm going to wrap this current formula inside the take function, which we talked about in another video. So this is another opportunity to explore that. So take open paren. The array that the take function will work with is the array that is a result of the sorted choose calls result. Uh, result. So then I click at the end, comma, with the take function, I need to indicate how many rows I want. So I want the top 10 values. They're sorted in descending order, so I want 10. Close paren and hit enter. So now I have just those three columns for the top 10 customers from the original data set. 
And of course, it's dynamic. I mean, if I were to come into this list and just modify a value, let's say I made an entry worth, say, uh, two million. Well, of course, that shows up in our result set because it's constantly uh, pulling those three columns. It's being sorted and it's uh, being filtered or not really filtered in this case. We could use a filter function, but in this case, we're using the take function that's just grabbing the top 10 entries. So it's dynamic and it's going to give us the results that work or that make sense uh, even if the data changes. That's it. That's the take function, the sort function, and the choose calls function. I hope you find it useful. Please come back soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day. Peace.